hey, have you heard about Twitter lists and you know what they are and why you should use them, but yet you have no idea how to create one? Good news. I'm AJ Mix, Twitter Rockstar, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. So let's hop into it. All right, so creating a Twitter list is ridiculously simple. I'm excited to show you. So all you need to do is log into your Twitter account. Once you're logged into your Twitter account, it should be here on your home page. And what you need to do is come up to the upper right hand side here on your desktop, click on your profile um, and settings right here. Just click on the little profile and settings and then come down. You'll see the first option is list. Just click on list there. And then you're going to come down here on the right hand side under create a list create a list and then you need to name this list and understand that you only have 25 characters to name your list so if you wanted to you know put a list together and we could call this something like I'm gonna say my homies right and I would add my friends there if you wanted to get a little bit more specific maybe you have you know a certain chat like the get real chat we'll just do that one for now the get real chat and then the description I would say, um, you know, whatever's going to help people understand who's in this chat. So in this example, we would say um, uh, people in the get real chat, right? And that's just it. It's people doing that. So whatever your description is, whatever's going to describe your list, put that in there. Um, understand that in the privacy, you can select public or private. Now, if this is a public list that means anybody can follow this list anyone can find it these lists are searchable via google and the other search engines yahoo bing etc um, and people can subscribe and anytime you add people from this list are going to be viewing their tweets and they can see the members of that list connect with that list so if that's okay with you then you can create a public list if not make it private so that only you can access that list so it's up to you also quick note here if you make it public Whatever you describe this list, people are gonna know. Um, whatever you name this list, and you add people, they're gonna be no. They're gonna be notified that you've added them to that list, and they'll know the name of it. So if you say uh, my competitors, and it's a public list, and you're adding them, and they get, they're going to receive a notification that says, you know, yo, this person added you to the my competitors list. So probably don't want to do that. But all you need to do once you have the list name, the description, and you have your privacy settings, whatever you'd like to call it. You just save list and then boom, it's going to be there and you can see all of the lists that you create now. If you just come into upper right hand corner, profile and settings here on your Twitter dashboard, go to list and then you're going to see all of the lists that you can see. And you can see I have several of marketing experts and consultants and mompreneurs and bloggers and speakers and just I would like seeing you know what my people are, uh, my followers, what they do and add them to the, the appropriate list just so I can pay attention to who's going on. So. That's what this is. If you're a member of, you can see what list you've been added to, and you could, um, you know, uh, participate in those lists, add the members, you know, whatever, um, etc. So that's how you guys create the list. Hey, did you like this video? Well, I want you to do me a favor and leave a comment right below this video. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I don't want to see you missing out on any of the rocking content that I'm going to deliver to you. And this is AJ Amix, the Twitter rock star, signing out. Peace.